Get your sea legs. Unraveling an idiomatic expression. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English idioms and expressions. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, get your sea legs. This idiom has a nautical origin, but it's used in many different contexts. Let's set sail on this linguistic journey and discover what it really means to get your sea legs. The term, get your sea legs, originates from the world of sailing. In this section, we will explore its nautical roots. Sailors had to adapt to the constant movement of the ship on the waves, which could be quite challenging for newcomers. This phrase metaphorically refers to the process of becoming accustomed to the ship's motion and being able to walk steadily on deck. It's a skill that took time and experience to develop. Today, get your sea legs is used more broadly to mean adapting to a new situation or environment. We often use this expression when someone is learning something new or adjusting to a change. For example, if you start a new job, you might need some time to get your sea legs in your new role. It's all about finding your balance and comfort in unfamiliar settings. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in everyday language. 1. It took me a few weeks to get my sea legs at my new school, but now I feel right at home. 2. When you move to a different country, it can take a while to get your sea legs with the new culture and customs. 3. She's still getting her sea legs in the world of digital marketing, but she's learning fast. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in different contexts. A common mistake learners make is using this phrase in a literal sense related to the sea or sailing. Remember, it's usually used metaphorically to describe adjusting to new situations. Also, be mindful of the verb tense you pair with this idiom. For instance, saying, got my sea legs, implies the process of adaptation is complete, while, getting my sea legs, suggests it's ongoing. And that's a wrap on, get your sea legs. We hope this video helps you understand and use this idiom confidently in your conversations. Remember, learning idioms is not just about the words, but the stories and contexts behind them. Keep practicing, and soon you'll get your sea legs in the world of English idioms. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.